Thank you for joining us on such a special day. In case of an emergency, please pay close attention for any announcements pertaining to safety directions. Additionally, the class of 2022 requests that you maintain graduation decorum during today's commencement ceremony. We now ask that you please stand for the procession of the graduates.
please stay standing for the national anthem, which will be sung by the Madrigals under the direction of Mr. Weatherby. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to Trojan Stadium. As we begin this afternoon's commencement ceremony, I would like to introduce those who are on stage and presiding with today's commencement. I am Brent Reedy, principal of Andover High School, Mr. Brett White, superintendent of schools, Dr. Russell Miller, assistant superintendent of human resources, Ms. Jill Lockenmeyer, assistant superintendent of academic affairs, Mr. Ryan Hers, assistant principal, Ms. Laura Scaglioni, assistant principal and activities director, Mr. Clint Cornelison, assistant principal and athletic director, Mrs. Susan Devon, Andover USD 385 Board of Education Vice President, and Mrs. Jill Hodge, Andover USD 385 Board Member. At this time, I would like to introduce Natalie Nugent, Andover High School Senior Class President. Natalie is the daughter of Michelle and Ron Nugent. Natalie will be giving this year's welcome message to the students and honored guests. Natalie, would you please come forward? Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone attending both in person and online to celebrate the Andover High School graduating class of 2022. Welcome to Andover administration, board members, and staff. To our parents, family members, and friends. And to my fellow classmates, the class of 2022. For those of you who may not know me, my name is Natalie Nugent, and I've had the honor of being senior class president. One of the traditions at Andover High School is for the graduating class to select a motto they feel best represents their time here. With this in mind, the class of 2022 selected the following quote. We cannot direct the wind, but we can adjust the sails. Standing here today marks just over two years since the pandemic began, what we thought was just an extended spring break. We began living an entirely new life from what we knew before. In the last two years, we have adjusted our sails and each found our new normal, our new way ahead. Though we were all greatly misled by the high school musical movies, I believe that we have made the most of our high school, four years of high school. As our high school years come to an end, we are flooded with memories. We reflect on the experiences of walking into the old school for the first time, as well as leaving the old school many times for gas leaks. Celebrating an extended spring break, navigating online school, and finally getting to see the inside of the new Andover High School building. We will not soon forget the times we ran through the football stadium, covered head to toe in body paint for Trojanite, or walkouts before state competitions. We have been made stronger by the challenges we have faced together and better prepared for the future that lies ahead of us. 
Without the teachers who taught us not only how to pass, or at least give our best effort towards passing AP exams at the end of the year, but how to do life, how to treat others, and how to make a difference in the world, I would not have the opportunity to be speaking on this stage. Without the support of our administration, showing up to every sporting event, listening to every performing arts production, and suggesting events like Max's Frye, our outlook on school would be completely different from what I believe it has become. I would be remiss if I failed to acknowledge and thank the support staff and all that they have contributed to our success. To Mary and the custodial staff, to the secretaries in the front office letting, in, letting us into the building each day, to our counselors who helped us with our post high school plans, and to the lunchroom staff who kept us fed each day. To our coaches that pushed us to do our best while all trying to put a smile on our face, thank you for the memories that you have allowed us to create. Thank you. Oh, none of us would have made it to this point without the endless support from our parents and other family members. Thank you to those family members for helping us edit papers, study for tests, and for your patience with us over the last four years. Thank you to each of these people from our entire class. We are beyond grateful for your encouragement over the last four years. I hope that wherever each of you go moving forward, that you will take this into consideration. Life will always throw things your way. Some of those things will be positive, others will not be. But I believe that each and every one of you has the strength to overcome any obstacles life brings your way. I truly believe that each of you have bright things ahead, and if you adjust the sails, I know you will go far. I am honored to be the first person to say congratulations. Class of 2022, we made it. Thank you all, and welcome to the graduating ceremony of the class of 2022. Our vocal music piece is I Am Still Your Dreamer, Words and Music by Pink Zebra, and will be performed by the senior Andover High School choir members. The choir is under the direction of Mr. Aaron Weatherby and accompanied by Mrs. Laurel Delamont.
Each year, the senior student council members provide us a little insight into their special class memories. This year's Stuco presenters are Alex Hoppus, son of Justin and Deborah Hoppus, Dylan Basinger, son of Derek and Jennifer Basinger, Paige Williams, daughter of Jason and Amy Williams, and Maximilian Hipsley, son of Andrew and Rachel Hipsley. eighth grade and transitioned into freshman, it felt like restarting life. While we had made friendships throughout middle school, not all of them stuck. Middle school and elementary school allowed us to learn who we were as an individual, but high school gave us the opportunity to realize who we wanted to surround ourselves with. The beginning of high school was a little scary for some people, being towered over by the juniors and seniors, trying to find classes in the maze that was the old school, and starting new classes that seemed so much harder than those in middle school. But it didn't take long until we realized that it really wasn't that much different. We still messed around with our friends in the hallways. They were just different hallways than before. As we learned how to drive cars, some better than others, <laughs> Sarah Sinclair, we had the freedom to go out and make memories other than just hanging out at each other at school or at each other's houses. We went to football games and judged the seniors for wrapping sheets around their bodies. For the whiteout theme, we laughed at all the girls that put the dots of pain on their face and thought it was a fashion statement. And we stood in the very back of the student section, frustrated every time Alex Jones would yell at us to scoot another row back, even though we could barely see the field. But this made us even more excited to keep growing and getting older, ready to take that spot in the front row. For our very first Trojan night, we had the colors purple and pink and the goddess Athena. So what better to do than spend a month tying a tablecloth into a giant chicken wire owl in the Linhart's backyard. We finished Trojan night that year in third place, which felt great, until we realized that the class of 2020 wasn't really that much competition at all. But still, we had fun running around on the football field in purple and pink body paint, cheering each other on, and continuing to form friendships that have lasted years. 
Another big difference from middle school were the dances. People actually showed up to the high school ones. The first time we had to ask a, dan a girl to the dance was a little rough. Thanks, Natalie. And I'm sure most of the dudes would agree it's still not your favorite thing in the world. All of that work to make a cheesy poster, just to stand on the outside of a circle listening to Mo Bomber's sicko mode while the fourth person in 30 minutes tried to do the worm. But moments like these helped us to learn to laugh at ourselves and over the next four years become the ones in the middle hitting a stanky leg and not caring who was laughing. We entered the schools of the old school, the halls of the old school, as wide-eyed freshmen who were unsure of ourselves and where we fit in this giant school. But after just one year, we were ready to move on to sophomore year, not expecting the many difficult challenges that it brought. Freshman year is always exciting, as we step into the world of high school for the very first time. Junior year is often seen as the most important, as it comes with the most challenging classes. And of course, as seniors, we make decisions about next year and ultimately the rest of our lives. For a typical class, sophomore year will be the most uneventful part of the high school ex experience. And going into our sophomore year, I think many of us were expecting the same thing. We couldn't have been more wrong. We began the year with a very unconventional Trojan night. After weeks of preparation, we took the field, confident that we had made major improvements from our first competition. But then along came a storm, sending hundreds of high schoolers covered in body paint into the brand new locker rooms. Classes bonded during the wait, as we sang songs, made new friends, and turned those fresh white walls into the biggest art project that Andover High had ever seen. Mr. Reedy, we are so sorry. After waiting what seemed like forever, a decision was made that will go down in Trojan Night history. For the first time in decades, spectators and athletes were sent home due to the weather. The story was not over yet though, and our class still managed to impress everyone at the beloved Trojan Day competition. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of all of you, we were set up to walk away with first place. And thanks to the hard work and dedication of some aspiring young painters in our class, we did not walk away first, with first place. <laughs> Although sophomore year was not our first or our last in high school, it certainly felt like the start of a new chapter in our lives. With the bond issue in place, we'd stop at the end of Old English Hall to watch a towering new school, up, school go up day by day. Now some were sad that we had to say goodbye to the old Andover High, as it felt like home and it had a lot of character. Now the technical term for that is a bi-weekly gas leak, leaky ceiling tiles and bed bugs, but character is a lot easier to say. For most of us though, this was an exciting change. Wi-Fi? Stairs? Windows? There had not been a change this big at school in our entire lives, and I think most of us were sure that nothing would ever top this. Once again, we couldn't have been more wrong. Spring break was in full swing when we got the news that we'd be going on a two-week lockdown thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. Not too concerned at first, we took this extended time off in stride. Games and FaceTime calls kept us in contact with our friends, while hanging out went from anywhere, anytime to something that had to be done in private. The real, the real shock came when the decision was made to switch to online school for the rest of the year. Finals were canceled sports seasons cut short, and we can no longer pass notes to our friends using Mr. Bass's storm drain. They say that the strongest swords are forged and fired. The COVID pandemic and the effect it had on our education was no doubt the biggest challenge that we had faced as a group. But although there was usually a mask or a screen between us, it was clear to see the strength that our class possessed. We quickly adapted to online learning to finish out the school year. We moved into a summer full of social, social restrictions, yet we found new ways to connect and new people to connect with. We would drive down Andover Road, watching the new school go up, wondering if we'd get to start our junior year in it. Nobody knew if we would. Nobody knew anything about what junior year would bring, but that was nothing to be worried about. When the world demanded distant, we came together more than we ever had before, and whatever tomorrow had in store for us, we'd handle that together too. Our junior year 
was very unique from any other and it contained many firsts. As a student body, it was our first year in the new school, our first time using a hybrid schedule, and the first time we had seen some of our classmates in months. Junior year was our first year in the beautiful new school. While we only got to spend about half of the year actually in the school, due to hybrid. For many of us, the tall windows and ceilings were a nice change from the gas leaks and bed bugs of the old school. This year was completely different from others in that we were still struggling with COVID and the challenges it posed. We got used to Zoom and waking up a minute before class started, participating from our beds in our PJs. I know I was grateful for every one of those extra minutes of sleep and will always appreciate the countless hobbies I picked up during my free time. Despite the challenges, we were still able to go to school and interact with our classmates and teachers. After life completely changed our sophomore year, we learned to adapt and overcome the challenges and obstacles thrown at us. We were able to learn and grow into the people we are today, people who will be able to successfully navigate the trials of the future through the experiences we gained our junior year. This was our first year as upperclassmen our first year being leaders and students that others looked up to. Many of us were introduced to college level courses, whether it be through Butler or AP classes. While COVID split us up and made it difficult, we found ways to come together. In the fall, many of us participated in a fake homecoming in which we made the most of a canceled homecoming dance and spent time with friends. Despite spending most of the year online, we were able to participate in sports and other extracurricular activities, including theater, choir, and band. While these looked very different compared to other years, we continued to succeed. One of the most memorable moments of junior year was everyone coming back to school the week after spring break. The student council hosted Welcome Back Week, and I remember being so excited to see all my friends and classmates in each of my classes. That spring, we were invited to our first prom. Considering all that we had missed out on previously, prom was a perfect way to celebrate our class, coming back together and experiencing a great night full of dancing, laughter, and memories. To finish off the year, we had spring fling, finals, and AP tests. Spring fling was a fun way to compete against each other through kickball tournaments and relax while watching Space Jam on the softball field. While finals and AP tests were stressful, our hard work throughout the year paid off and we officially survived what is known as the hardest year of high school. By being separated, we were able to come back closer and better than before. Though this year was difficult and challenging, we overcame the obstacles and matured into the resilient individuals that we celebrate today. And now we come to our senior year, and what a year it has been. Throughout our high school years, we have been told that your senior year flies by. And I think, while sitting here today, we can all agree that it's finished way faster than we ever expected. While we sit here today facing the future and ultimately the rest of our lives, I find it important to remember some of the core memories of our year. After bad weather two years ago in COVID last year, it was so nice to have a, tr a, nor a normal Trojan night this year. And, oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Coming together as a class and being able to fight towards one common goal was a bonding experience for all of us. After barely losing a couple years ago, we won this year, even though Brody fell on his face during the relay race. The feeling of storming the first place trophy altogether was one that I doubt many of us will ever forget. It's always been fun to watch our football and basketball teams with our school, but wasn't it great to be able to watch all of our basketball and football teams, but finally in the front row? We were finally the student section leaders. And while we all remember watching these games, let's also not forget our fellow seniors that are vigorously involved in all other sports and activities. Participating in the sport you love as a senior is such a bittersweet feeling. And I would love to congratulate all those athletes that completed their last year of whatever sport they did. As well as this, I would love to congratulate all those seniors who were involved in theater, band, choir, FBLA, Scholars Bowl, debate, forensics, and any others that I may be missing. The productions by our amazing theater department were absolutely fantastic, and I personally wish I could watch them all over again. Not only this, but our choir sounded amazing and our band proved to be extremely successful yet again. 
We also need to recognize our FBLA and forensics teams, as well as debate and the others that I may be forgetting. Um, FBLA and forensics, they made it to nationals, which is just absolutely insane. Andover High School has surely made a name for itself in all realms, thanks to our hardworking seniors that made each of our various activities something to be very proud of. With amazing programs such as these, I find myself very proud to be a Trojan. I think another memory that won't be forgotten anytime soon, though, is the Brojanets performance. I think we can all agree that our Brojanets performance was one of the best of recent Andover, recent Andover history. I mean, we got to see Bennett do a model walk and Carter do his own version of a stanky leg. Now, it would seem unfitting to recap our senior year without honoring and paying remembrance to our dear friend, Chase. This year, we lost one of our own. And while it was months ago, I can confidently say that the pain can still be felt throughout the whole class. Today, as we graduate, let's make sure to pay our respects to Chase Vermillion, a man whose compassion and kindness left an impact on, on us all. Chase, we will never forget. As I wrap this speech up, I would like to say thank you to all of you guys. Moving here in my freshman year, I was nervous and very scared for what the future would hold. However, this class of 2022 showed me that moving here was the best thing that could have ever possibly happened to me. I dreaded moving here so much, so why is it so hard to leave? As Andy Bernard from The Office once said, I wish there was a way to know we were in the good old days before we've actually left them. Our instrumental music piece is Blazing Fury, composed by David Schaefer. Please enjoy this final performance of the Senior Band Ensemble. The band is under the direction of Mr. Ray Linville, Mrs. Madison Small, and Mr. Michael Raypour.
I would now like to introduce Ryan Dole, Andover High School student body president. Ryan is the son of Chris and Jody Dole. Ryan will be giving this year's commencement speech to the class of 2022. I want to take the time to say thank you to our administration, faculty, and the friends and family that are here today to show their support for this incredible moment in our academic journey. I speak on behalf of the class of 2022 when I say that it is your continued support that has made today possible. If not for you all, we would not be given the sacred opportunity to walk across this stage and into the next chapter of our lives. As we turn the page to this new chapter, I think it is natural to be skeptical. New things are often uncomfortable. Whether it's trade school, college, the workforce, or any other future endeavor, it's normal to be scared. Thus, bridging the gap between high school and whatever lies ahead is a daring task. And since my fellow students have given their recollections of the years past, I suppose it is only logical that I talk about your future in an attempt to bridge the gap. I cannot build this bridge for you, but I can give you some sage advice on life after high school, is what I thought before I realized that I've never experienced life after high school. A while back, I was having a conversation with my father about writing this speech. I told him that I was supposed to talk about the future, about the next chapter of our lives, he then explained to me that I really have no room to talk about college or being an adult because I've never been exposed to those experiences. And as much as my pride hates to admit it, he's exactly right. Who am I to talk about the future of my peers? How is my limited experience supposed to inspire you? I don't even know what I'm eating for dinner tonight, let alone what the future holds. I wish I could, but unfortunately, I can't give you any advice about this new chapter in our lives. However, I do know some people that can. The faculty and staff members of Andover High School are an incredible wealth of knowledge, not just about the quadratic formula or Shakespeare, but about living life. So who better to give you advice about the future than some of the most capable, wise, and intelligent individuals we know? So think of this speech as a guide to your future, written by some of the most influential people in our lives. My first piece of advice for you comes from Mr. Weatherby, one of the wisest and most contemplative people that I, I've had the privilege of knowing. I'm sure that Mr. Weatherby could have given me a myriad of advice, but he settled on this one. He told me not to look at your phone at a stoplight where you might miss when the light turns green. He explained to me that the literal act of looking at your phone at a stoplight is incredibly annoying, that I agree with. But I think this advice has a more symbolic significance. We shouldn't be investing so much of our lives into things of insignificance. I'm not just talking about our phones, but about bad friends, unhealthy choices, or other distractions that keep you from where you want to go. When you get distracted by these empty behaviors, you miss things. You miss when the light turns green. You miss opportunities that will take you to your goals. Seize these opportunities when they present themselves. They're not always permanent. Eventually, the light turns red again. So don't wait for someone to honk at you. Get rid of the unfulfilling distractions and just drive. Don't let something of insignificance stop you from doing something significant. My next piece of guidance comes from an excerpt written by Mrs. Hine, which reads as follows. Look at each new day as an opportunity, a chance to try something new, to share in a conversation, read something profound, listen to wonderful music, show gratitude, love with your whole heart, follow your dreams, find a new passion, and create something interesting and unique. Cultivate a space within yourself for gratitude and return to that idea a little each day. Gratitude inspires contentment for what we have in our lives and a hope that the promise of tomorrow will help shape who we are today and inspire who we will become tomorrow. As a class, 
We have had our fair share of successes and setbacks. But let us never forget to be gracious of everything and everyone that got us here. <coughs> My final piece of advice to present to you comes from Mrs. McGuire. She showed me a quote from the author Catherine Pulsifer, which reads, let your dreams become your reality. Set your goals, take action, and live your dream. I think it is exceptionally fitting that Mrs. McGuire gave this quote to me. I know that she actively practices what she is preaching. <laughs> Any one of us that has taken one of her classes is well aware of how passionate she is about her job. She certainly did not settle on teaching. That fact is evident. <clears throat> And she has clearly made her passions and her dreams become her reality. I hope that we all imitate this example and pursue what it is we truly want in life. <clears throat> it won't be easy, however. The odds are stacked against our pursuits of becoming a doctor, a lawyer, or maybe a teacher. So it is up to us, and only us, to take deliberate action toward these dreams. We have all made tremendous strides to be where we are today. While working alongside all of you for four years, I have seen the early mornings, long nights, <clears throat> and the countless hours dedicated in pursuit of graduation. However, it is hard to ignore the fact that our teachers, who have a vested interest in our success, have made it possible for us to succeed by educating and developing us. In the rest of your life, however, it is up to you to take action and achieve your passions. A teacher like Mrs. McGuire or Mrs. Hying or Mr. Weatherby won't be there to push you forward. Your independent success is dependent on you alone. Despite this newfound obstacle, the past four years has taught me that we are a group of profound resiliency and capability. So don't think about living a life of success. Don't talk about it. Take action and make it happen. <clears throat> the guidance that I have presented you today is meaningful. It should be cherished. And I hope that it has the same impact on you that it does on me. I gave you this advice because I care about all of you. And I care about your future. I hope that your future inspires moments of gratitude. That your future is free of hindering distractions. I hope that your future success is the result of deliberate action in pursuit of your passions. I hope that your future is bright. Thank you. It is my pleasure to present 211 graduates and four foreign exchange students for recognition this evening. Ms. Devon, as representative of the USD 385 Board of Education, would you please come forward and accept these students as candidates for graduation? On behalf of the entire USD 385 Board of Education, we accept this class for graduation today. I do have a few comments, but I would like to say that Natalie, Alex, Dylan, Paige, Max, and Ryan, I'm glad I did not go before you. You guys are amazing speakers and you have great words to say. So I hope all of you guys sitting out in front of me did listen to what they have to say because they were wise words. So it is my honor today and pleasure to welcome everyone in this stadium, families, faculty, staff, and students to the 2022 Andover Trojan High School graduation. We are so proud of each and every one of you and your accomplishments. You all have so much to celebrate today. Your class has been through a challenging high school career. The last half of your second semester of your sophomore year did not happen. Most of your junior year was hybrid. You lost one of your classmates. And when we think we're in the home stretch, we have a tornado that hits our community. This is real world. This is tough stuff. We all could have taken a victim mentality, but this class did not. You all persevered, you conquered, and you won. 
In your freshman year, stakeholders involved in the Andover Public Schools gathered to discuss what graduates of our schools should know and skills they should possess by the time they leave our campus with diplomas. A portrait of a graduate was developed. When I look at this class, this vision is being realized. Some very tiny examples of this include collaboration and communication, congrats by the way to your Trojan Night win, integrity and character, when the boys soccer team received the spirit of the sport Kansas, excuse me, the sport award from the Kansas State High School Activity Association for cooperating with the Salina Central and their player with a rare bone and cartilage condition took the field and allowed him to score a goal. Innovative thinking, multiple CAPS projects, amazing pieces of art, wonderful theater productions, and the list could go on and on from here. Academic preparation, we have two national merit finalists among this class, and resiliency. Need we say more, this class has adapted to every challenge that has been presented to them, and you guys have not skipped a beat. You all have so much to be proud of. Enjoy this moment, take a breath, and rest as you prepare for the next step on your path. Look around at your peers today. This is the last time this class will be together. Your peers are gonna go into the workforce. Many are headed to post-secondary academic institutions, universities, tech schools. A few are going into the military, including an appointment to West Point. We thank you all for your courage to serve and protect our freedoms of this great country. And there may be a few who have not figured out what their next step is. That's okay. Whatever you choose to do after today, work hard, stay humble, never stop learning, and remember to call your parents, grandparents, friends, and everyone that is in your support network. We really do want to hear from you. So in closing, Enjoy all the moments. They do go fast. We are very excited to see what contributions each of every one of you make to this world. We need your leadership more now than ever. I thought I would leave you with some words from one of my favorite authors, Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steal yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who will decide where you go. Out there things can happen and frankly do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along you'll start happening too. Congratulations. At this time, would Assistant Principals Mr. Hers, Ms. Gaglioni, and Mr. Cornelson please come forward to read the names for the presentation of diplomas. Would the graduates please come forward? Kylie Teresa Ash. Nope. Okay. Kylie, Kylie Teresa, Teresa Ash. Ash. Abby Amanda Ledbetter.
Anna Lynn Rader. Wyatt James May. Christian Thomas Roy. Lucas Michael Adler. Rebecca Nicole Ashleman. Catherine Eileen Alexander. Rayon Ali. Abby Ann Allen. Anthony John Allison. Peyton William Allman. Rachel Isabella Amaro. Lauren Elizabeth Amalunke. Alexandra Pauline Anderson. Simon Jacob Armbruster. Runwa Kareem Asaf. Lauren Vaughn Atkinson. Taylor Ann Bali. Justin Bang. Dylan Lee Basinger. Brooklyn Adele Becker. Nicholas Andrew Bell. Hudson Lee Benjamin. Riley Morgan Blanchett. Laya Von Comte. Ashton Nicholas Boomer. Quentin James Moore.
Bray Alton Boynton. Kara Dawn Brockmeyer. Jacob Scott Brotherton. Isaiah Dean Brown. Lauren Tyler Brown. Alandra Carissa Bryant. Elizabeth Marie Burchette. Tony Tree Quan Chow. Riley Brooke Carr. Autumn K. Carver. Carter Kenneth Champlin. Vincent Cho Chan. Riley Ann Cohens. Chloe Lynn Christensen. Yes, Chloe. Madison Taylor Colahan. Savannah Jean Cole. Chelsea Morgan Conley. Patrick Anthony Cuvion. Evan Joseph Kramer. Colin Stephen Cruz. Chloe Lorraine Cunningham. Ryan Christopher Dahl. Ellie Nicole Davis. Gabriel James Davis. Sean Ian Davis. Emily Anne Marie Denning. <laughs> Dylan Drake Devon. <laughs> Julia Lexis DeVries. Jason Ten Do. Yeah. 
Taylor Brooke Downs. Clayton Christopher Dudley. Emma Duranova. So sorry. Brooke Lynn Eby. Ethan John Egan. Jeremiah Esteda. Avery Lyman Vonestock. Ella Marie Flanagan. Kylie Gail Forney. Cannon Joseph Fuller. Stella Dylan Gage. Ainsley Logan Gallagher. William Alexander Garcia. Brock Andrew Garrett. Yes, sir, Brock! Christian Jose Gonzalez. John Chandler Goodnight. Caleb Gorey. Henry Ronald Gott. Sean Michael Pira. Emma Margot Guillaume. Ty Jacob Gummeringer. Kaylee Renee Hanna. Wyatt Mitchell Hansen. Malik Sampson Harwell. Bennett Joe Gillum Harris. Mary Joanne Hardshorn. Not present. William Patrick Harvey. Emma Lynn Henry. James Russell Hill. Hope 
Elizabeth Hilton. John Gustav Hippesley. Maximilian James Hippesley. Alex Justin Hoppus. Robin Michelle Hoskinson. Nicholas James Hying. Alexander Vincent Lognaval. Charles Joseph Bribiaska Lassiter. Ava Lynn Law. Ethan Finn. Addison Grace Leach Dal Paul Lee Trinity De Un Lee Alyssa Madeline Linhart Kyle James Lumba Annika Mai Gabriel Mason Mackey (laughs) 
Isabel Marie Madero Picard. Miles Conrad Martin. Anthony Michael Martinez Johnson. Emma Marlene Massey. Corinne J. Mayer. Paxton Russell McCafferty. Samantha Riley McClellan. Stratton Robert McClellan. Logan Ty McClinney. Emily Adria McKay. Brady Scott McLaren. Lauren Marie McNeil. Wesley Michael Mead. Lindsay Ann Mel. Alexis Diane Michaelis. Max DeBerry Milton. Kara Beth Milney. Gavin Perry Nelson. Morgan Lynn Nelson. Natalie Ann Nugent. Chloe Lucille Neeson. Natalie Ann Nolte. Chloe May Novak. Corey Catherine Ogden. Cade Ryan. Orban. Holden Grant Osman. Emily Isabella Peltier. Marcus Vander Bond. Blaine Ryan Pinkerton. Jackson Edward Polite. Catherine Sarah Pounder.
Mohammed Kador. Emily Christine Ray. Ariane Isaiah Ramirez. Caden Ramirez. Marissa Whitney Rapp. Madison Marie Reger. Noah Gregory Russell. Elizabeth Jane Rigby. Elena Isla Rivera. Nehemiah Josiah Robinson. Matthew Lawrence Rudy. True Tatum Russell Greco. Rachel Olivia Sasson. Jack Wesley Schaefer. Jackson Lee Schaefer. Amelia Grace Schneider. Cooper Lee Shoney. George Dean Schulte. Tessa Diane Scalari. Ashley Michelle C. Courtney Ann Centers. Riley Joe Shea. Sarah Grace Sinclair. Avery Elizabeth Smith. Hunter Lee Grant Smith. Lise Francine Soto. Blaine 
Patrick Splitzenberger. Spitzenberger. I apologize. My bad. Rose Marie Sturmer. Bradley Joe Summerall. David Wesley Sutherland. Paul Theodore Shimental. Annabelle Pegaya Tanton Samboon. <laughs> Jocelyn J. Thatch. <laughs> David Gregory Dill. <laughs> Owen Dell Tingley. Quinn Alexa Torgeson. Lawson Sydney Trimmel. Sydney Joe Van Epp. Jordan Henry Vargas. Alexa Michelle Vega. Malia Mitsu Berkeley. Elizabeth Sue Better. Jack Davis Vincent. Yeah, Jack! Rhett Eric Wainer. Abigail Jewel Watts. <laughs> Bailey Marie Way. Grant. Barrett Weber. Kelsey Jolene Weekamp. Darren Andrew Wyrock. Ashlyn Renee Wheeler. Naya Monique Wyatt.
Bailey J. Williams. Annabelle Williams. Angelina Maiua Willis. Grace Elizabeth Winter. Jacob William Winter. Joshua Riley Wolf. Grace Hadley Yearout.
Thank you. Seniors, one thing I do to stay organized is to make lists. I gain satisfaction from checking the box upon completion of each task. Today is no doubt a big list item. For you seniors as well, you have checked all the boxes. First day of school, homecoming, prom, AP test, finals, graduation parties, and you will continue to do so. You'll become doctors, engineers, entrepreneurs, artists, parents, aunts and uncles. You may run for public office or even become an Uber driver. <laughs> what I ask of you is to make sure that there are boxes that you check every single day. Be a good friend, smile, be empathetic and forgiving, be passionate and optimistic, have self-discipline, self persevere, care about the community you live in, and most importantly, believe the future can be better than the present and that you have the power to make it so. Class of 2022, would you please stand up? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the Andover High School graduating class of 2022. Toss those caps. Kyle. 